By the way, shout out to everyone that donated. There you go. Here, got this for us. All the donators, Jasset, Calibut, Own Math Lady, Pombai, and Missouri, uh, and Fat Lobut. Thanks for your donations. And uh, you will get what you want for the menus. Haunted Minds, last game incoming. Wait, who donated for Porky's points? Did you guys see? Oh, yeah, let me go back and see. That's important. Who Who's out here boosting Porky? Who did it? It was Pombai! Pombai out here boosting Porky! Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you said it, Cappuccino. We found... We found Porky's secret booster. Exposed. Alright, draft is starting. Captains are filth and fancy pants. And... I believe they do not know that they're swapping teams at the end here. So they think they're picking their team, but they're really picking the opponent team. You've activated my trap card! Uno reverse card! Happening hot. Very soon. Alright. So, Fancy Pants, Liam, Cure, Porky, and Unaverted is Team 1. But, little does Fancy Pants know, this all-star team he picked is the team he's going to be facing. He's swapping over to the other team. Same with Filth. I'm not an observer. I am. <laughs> uh, Filth just refuses to pick Nintori. He's just he's just leaving him in the leaving him out to dry, leaving Nintori on the bench even though there's no one on the bench because there's only ten people playing. <laughs> All right, here we go. So those are the teams, and the captains are getting swapped. So Filth and Fancy will be swapping positions here. Dota has the hots mode. It kind of does. It it had a hots patch. It did have a hots patch. Uh, it, they had a big patch the other day, a couple days ago, where they just kind of jacked a bunch of stuff from Hans. I think the swaps already happened. I think we are a little too late to catch the reactions. That's true, though. Also, they're in two different channels, so we, we would only be able to catch reactions for one of them. Maybe next time, if this happens, we'll just chill in one of the team channels. Well, we could only catch one of them, though. Why am I not participating? I am participating. I'm literally observing. But if you mean why am I not playing, uh, there's a TLDR to that. Something, this is exclamation mark C. That is why I do not play competitive events unless it's like a HCC level event. Scared confirmed. Oh, yes. I'm terrified. I am terrified. There's opponents the caliber of Porky over here. Who wouldn't be terrified? That's a scary star. <laughs> Very scary. Alright, here we go. Into the draft for Haunted Mines. The captain swap has occurred. As you can see, filth and fancy plants swapping sides here. Let's see what they prioritize. Also, where's my sounds? There we go. Sylvanas first band. Ain't nobody got time for a Sylvanas push on with a with a go haunted mines golem. Seems like they still remember that much. All right, understandable. Solid band. Yeah, Porky is doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good for sure. Got two more donos here. Quick shout out to Coffee with the forty with the go 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 and Ritu. Boost and cure. We see you, Ritu. Shout out to the donors. There you go. <laughs> Understandable, Ritu. Understandable. I respect it. Alright, rest of our bands here. Pretty meta. We got a Diablo Brightwing ban. Haunted Mines might not seem like a big map, but there are two levels to it. And I believe you can teleport from higher level to lower level and vice versa. So that could make, make it uh, pretty valuable for Brightwing, actually. 
Got a Hogger first pick here. Hogger downstairs might be nuts. It might be. It's been so long. I don't remember like the exact distance of the walls on the lower level. There's definitely potential for some sick geometry though. We'll have to see. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Hogger spin on this map either. Vala coming in hot here. Finally, somebody picking up the young Vala. Dota Fountains, if you collect a total of 18 Lotuses and a Roshan Cheese, they combine. And if you eat it, you get a Perma Shield. Wow, that is sick. That is OPAF, Shackaloo. Crazy. Think the devs tested Hogger and Haunted Mines? Probably not. Yeah, we got a Sergeant Hammer pick here. Uh, ban here. A little worried about a hammer push action. I could see that. Respectable. And a Uther ban here. Then the concern here is, of course, Uther double support with the Vala. The Holy Trinity. Very powerful. Uther is usually the kingpin to that strategy as well. Although I think Oreo is pretty good in that strategy as well. Both of those are kind of very strong with a double support Vala. But Vala can function perfectly fine in a solo support lineup too. Going with a Stukov here. It looks like we're going to have some chain CC into a Stukov silence. Toxic. But effective. You just pop back in. What are the standings so far? I think uh, Pombai has a link where you can check the real-time standings. Someone in chat has it, right? And a Li Ming... And a Ragnaros. Are we are we looking for some? This looks like a four man Ragnaros, by the way. We're we looking for some. It's just I wonder if this is gonna be uh, some cattle influence, some meatball, or what are we going on here? We're looking for some cheese with a molten core, perhaps. Should be interesting seeing what tactics this Ragnaros is gonna pull out on this map. And the double support does come out in the end with the Rhaegar and a Stukov. Those are two strong supports for sure. All right, here we go. Is Cattle trying to go to Berlin? I do not think so. I think he's uh, said he's not going. Welcome to Haunted Mines. Prediction is up. All you that want to lose your hard-earned channel points, you can do that in the prediction. Feel free to venture underground, collect the skulls, and unleash the golems if you're unfamiliar with this map. It is a two-level map. First level, the above-ground level. Two lanes, top and bottom, with entrances on both sides to the underground tunnels, which is where the objectives are. A bunch of shitters spawn down here. You collect skulls when you defeat them. The more skulls you have, the stronger your golem is. And your golem, both teams will spawn a golem. And they'll push on opposite sides of the map here. There will also be, I believe, pumpkin camps here. I believe that's what happened in the most recent version of Haunted Mines. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just a giant camp. We'll see. We'll see in a minute what happens. Everybody rolling out for the ARAM. Pombai with the 10 sub gift bomb. Appreciate that, Pombai. Forde, Kaiser, Astender, Untro, Spectro, Ever, Amelia, Strawberry Poop, Rhyme, Noceros, Pure Illusion, and Erander. Make sure you guys all thank Pombai for your complimentary ad block and sunglasses. And welcome to the fan club. We actually have a four man hogger here for now. Although, they could really make either lane the solo lane. Oh, Vala a little bit caught. They're going for him. There's two healers, though. Two healers greater than one. Oh, and a huge leaming orb. Vala goes down. That is the most important part of a double support Vala. When your Vala goes down, you don't have any more damage. Blue team has to turn tail and run here. And it is the pumpkin camp spawning. Okay, I knew I remember this map. Pumpkins camp sp spawning right away here. It's a five versus four. Blue team contesting. Thanks Vala the tournament. is back. But. Weary day is not. So red team barely gets out. <laughs> the little hoggers infinite spin there. Deterring any further action from the blue team. And my pleasure power bite. My pleasure. You got to think Pombai as well. He's really the one that put everything together. I'm just here. To give it some eyes, give it some publicity. 
and help out in the way that I can. I appreciate that though, Power Bite. All right, this camp has Giant Camp and Pumpkin Camp. All right, so we got the Hogger doing all the camps at the speed of light. Blue team making sure they don't fall behind in Pumpkins here, though. I like this, forcing the Pumpkin Camp with the, all five heroes near. While Hogger is doing Giant Camp, that ensures that they at least split the camps. We also do have two Watchtowers on this map. So so we got a bunch of people fighting for these watchtowers as well. All kinds of stuff happening here. Pumpkins pushing in. Filth taking some damage. But he'll be fine. Oh, Porky coming in for a counter engage. Oh, oh and Madara goes down again. Wait, Porky out here popping off in this series. Getting some clean plays this time around. Another big stun on Blaze. Blaze... Barely dies to the last Lucio auto attack. That was so close. And red team pulls ahead by a little bit. As the haunted mines open. Here we go. Liam going down into the mines. Oh, these walls are pretty small. Yeah, these walls are pretty small. Hogger seems pretty insane here. You, you can definitely get some infinite crazy geometry spins over here red team overwhelming advantage in the mine so far 40 skulls are ready in fact it looks like blue team is admitting defeat in the mines they're going with the strategy just give them the skulls we'll just push we'll see how that how well that works out for them cast a cursing porky porky comes out straight into a 3v4 and he's dead and a very good flank there very nicely flanked with the blaze catching the lucio on the wall and this blue team push it was questionable at first but with two heroes on the red team dead all of a sudden is looking pretty good they're getting a lot of damage here all right red team has temporarily paused the skull collection to try to gather themselves up. Looks like they're not happy about blue team getting everything on the top ha half of the map. Ragnaros is going in there, slowly trying to collect everything. Blue team sticking to their plan. They're saying skulls don't mean shit. We can just split push and get our value from there. I don't actually remember exactly how strong these first Skull Golems are, so I guess we'll see. Oh, Porky getting Keck clapped again. I think that was a very good play by the uh, Stukov there. I think that was a reactive Ballisto Sport play because Porky was very slow there. Unable to get out of silence because of Ballisto Spores, I'd imagine. We do have the Rhaegar going for the Mangar build as well. Lightning shields coming in hot. Vanguard much more, much stronger when you're double support as well. Oh, and it looks like red team does not want to take the last shit here. I don't remember exactly how this works. If you leave this golem for like 10 minutes, does the golem scale? So if you just take it 10 minutes later, it'll be like a really strong golem instead of an early game one. It might work like that. I don't really remember. Time based? Okay, so maybe that's the plan red team's going for. Good boop there. Yeah, you can get vision of the mines from the middle. You can you have vision of the uh what's happening around the boss just by looking down here. Yep. All right, looks like blue team's making a rotation down here. Hogger will be fine. Red team making an equal rotation, trying to kill Blaze. And Blaze will be fine too. Red team is certainly up quite a bit in experience right now though. All, I mean blue team, all of red team's advantage is kind of in the bank right now with those skulls. They're, they're tucking their advantage away. They're hoping to make use of it a little bit later on. But that means they're gonna have to fight 
or at least survive a talent down push for quite a little bit here. And blue team not interested in push. They want to get the pumpkin camp. Understandable. I would have just full YOLO pushed there. Screw the camp. You got double healer Vala with alt advantage. I would have YOLO pushed there for wall for sure. This way, red team uh, about to get level 10. They're about to equalize. Why does it say 28 skulls remaining? Uh, this one has 28 inside it. This one's the big one. Yeah, the little big boss. Yeah, it's worth 28 if you kill it. I think. Or it drops 28 skulls. Big boy. Ooh, the swap just barely didn't get him over the wall. Artanis is stacking, by the way. 129 stacks already. We stack a lack now here. Lava Wave. I mean, they do have Ragnaros plus Mountain Core, so it makes sense that they're comfortable banking these skulls. It will not be easy to push through a Mountain Core, but... It does seem like it's pretty easy to push through a Murd in this game as Porky explodes in a silence pool yet again. Goodbye, Porky. You shall be missed. Blue team running it down here with the man advantage. They're getting a lot of buildings. A nice swap. Countered by high five, though. Ragnaros thinking about activating their advantage. But unsure. Looks like he's getting some mixed team comms. <laughs> Ran around in mines for 10 seconds and then left. <laughs> it seems like red team is unsure of exactly what tactic they want to take here. Looks like they're willing to save it for even later. Ah, you know what we can do? Instead of me speculating on what Red Team's trying to do in this position, we'll just go listen to them, and then I don't have to talk. Yeah, right, let's go do that. You're gonna run out of here. Chase yeah, I'm, a, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I have to clear the siege camp. They're five manning bottom. They're five manning. I'm fine. Yeah. They're doing the camp, I think. I, I can wave it. Let's go to Red Team Vision as well. I'm gonna sit here, maybe I can get a Haymaker over the wall. Porky has Haymaker! I can try to solo this. Hey, Haymaker? Aw. Whoa, I didn't get the good angle. I'm having on the angle. I'm just getting this, no? Let me know if they leave, let me know if they leave. They're still here. No, they're still here. They're probably just gonna get in. You have trade soon I'm stunning that. I have trade. I'm out. Here, don't die or we lose. I'm hurting, I just can't do this. Too tanky. He can't do it. Liam lost the Actually, boss. Oh no. Uh, he has oh, no vault. Yeah, we want 13 though. Up. They're sitting under uh, the combo. Uh, big damage. Nice. If they start damaging it, all. They're leaving. They're leaving. They're leaving. They're leaving. Carry, 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 carry. Yeah, I might be dead. We'll see. Oh, wait, we, good, slow, we slowed them. We slowed got this man on him. Yeah, the turn. I'm just pushing. I'm just pushing. We don't see Vala. She's probably doing the camp. Get eye back. Yo, they're, they're missing. Uh, I could just free regroup with you guys, I guess. Yeah, uh, they're on camp. Actually, we're doing the we're doing the golem right now. Yeah, we're yeah. doing the golem. Okay, we can oh. stall them. Just don't int. Golem Maybe plus stall. Like, one skull on the ground or something. Don't uh, int. Careful, 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 please. I think we might need to get it. Boss know. going I down. Let it cook. Just uh, he it. vaulted it. They're just, just running. Just out. Let it cook. Oh, oh they're, they're 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 not. Oh lordy! Oh lord! Just leave it. Okay, it's okay. Oh lordy! Oh, they're finishing it. Okay. I'm getting bot wave. Well, we have an 86 goal. Actually, maybe it'll come through here. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. all coming through the, that part of the mine. Yeah, I'm out. Oh. Alright, let's listen to they're the other team the a little bit. Let's see what they do. <laughs> oh, the Run body? the lead here. Oh, no. Let's start spinning. Uh, that's so <laughs> shit. Oh, he's out. He's out. Yeah. That, Dude, I, oh, he's shockwave. Sure shockwave down. Yeah. 
It's so funny. I could have stunned him too. It's I like point one know. second channel too, though. It's like ridiculous. Like, yeah, I mean, I would have been. Bags up now. Tear from the fucking shockwave out of this goal. He used it. He used on. it. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah. Rag bottom. Rag bottom. I'm, there. I'm um, only hitting. Uh. I'll shoot oh, you. Fuck. Oh, this boss is so tanky. Boss, Thirty-seven thousand right, HP. That's what you get for it. Eighty-six goals. Can red team push with it though? Look, yeah. I'm still on boss. 700 on boss. damage right. yeah, in auto. Good defense. Good defense. Yo, this thing kind of blows. What? Uh, are <laughs> are we getting uh, bulky, by the way, uh, guys? Our <laughs> thing is OP. Okay. Okay. Their thing's getting bulky. Little, little mini golem doing work here, dude. Mini Walk golem. Okay. Doing work. Did we catch? We caught. We caught. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. coming. Waiting for the high five, maybe. He slowed. High five. No jump either. No jump. Oh, no high Is five, that... no jump, good comms. That's that's a dead party, boys. Swapping machine, swapping machine. Stay, stay, stay. Watch, watch. That's a full swap build, baby. That's a stack and swap and stack and swap and stack and swap. Sorry, I don't want to get a I'm hella getting damaged. It hurts, it all hurts. It all hurts. We can leave. Can we take care of Siege? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They stay out. I have slept though. Alright. Back to normal observer view. That's why that boss sucks. So the reason why the top boss sucked is because they could not push with it, right? It's the same as every objective. Every boss sucks if you don't push with it. When you could get Sky Temple boss, Cursed Hollow boss, you know, Web Weavers. You could even get Warhead boss. If you're unable to push with it, then it generally does very little. Five heroes will always kill a boss super quickly if they don't have to worry about you pushing with it. If there's no threat to them. So, Because blue team was ahead enough to stop red team from pushing, the boss didn't really do anything. It would be a much different story if the red team could keep pushing behind it though. Oh, gigantic stun from Blaze. Gigantic blind, that's a fine man blind as well. Oh, Geometry kind of leading Liam a little bit into the team though. The Geometry guides him in straight into Vala's arrows. And goodbye. Sometimes Geometry do be like that. Especially on a map that you're not familiar with. Another gigantic stun and Ragnaros is falling. The double support Vala comp. I'm surprised Vala was only picked for this game, man. I'm telling you guys. But busting through. I do feel like out of the comps, I like the Vala comp more too. Especially if it ever gets ahead. It's just so powerful. So hard to deal with. Alright, we're going straight for the middle boss here. Going for those 28 skulls. Yeah, as it dies, it continuously drops skulls. Is this map working again? I mean, it was always working. They just don't want it to be in the map pool for some reason. Big Haymaker on Vala, though. Big Haymaker. Oh my god, the Vala's HP bar is not moving. Double healer, by the way. Haymaker into the middle of the red team. Doesn't matter. Double healer, by the way. And this is looking like a rippers for the red team. This is looking real dire at this point. A hundred skull golem is being threatened here. Lucio trying to do what he can, but uh don't think he could do much. He's just trying to make them waste time chasing him. Oh, the blaze stun into the face with the double B step. Hundred skull golem coming in hot well you not only do you get to see haunted mines but you also get to see a hundred skull golem and this one will be unlike the other one this one will have a full team 
pushing behind it. So you can you can see the power of the objective when you're able to capitalize on it. Let's see here. Yeah, this is a pretty dire for red team. It's it's going in through the top lane as well. Open core. Porky! He got blind comboed there, I think. Or maybe they had vision of him. Luckily he lives, but he's gonna need to go heal and go heal fast. This bad boy has 60,000 HP. 850 damage auto attack. This guy has more HP than your core. Molten core going down in about half a second as the enemy heroes are already close to it. And double support Vala unable to ever die from a comp like this. That'll be it. I mean the boss does the boss will literally solo your core at this point. This thing is more beefy than your core. It hits harder than your core. GG. Well played to the blue team. 100 skull golem to end it all. That's a giga chat. Red team comps. You want to hear the despair? It's too late. The game's already over. Perhaps next time. Am I piloting the golem? Yes, I am. I was piloting that golem. Uh, if you want to you know? come to lobby. Lobby. Yeah, what up? I'm just gonna move everyone here. No. Yep, GG's everybody. Yeah. Uh, GG's guys. This was a trial run. We might we might make some adjustments like uh uh. On SL maps, we might we might raise the raise the the bar on that, but um, total prize pool came out to. Actually, let me do the math. I don't want to get it wrong. You wish they put mines back in quick match. Six hundred twenty-five bucks. Me too, man. God me too. Damn. Oh, that's so, pretty good. Nice. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. And so the way it's gonna work is we're gonna split it based on how many points we got. And yeah, GG's everybody. Thanks for playing. Yeah, cool. Yeah, GG's. Thanks all the donos. Hosting. And Jesus. everyone's invited again next week. Unless if y'all can't play, just message me, and uh, we'll find someone else. But uh, yeah, next week same time. And if y'all have any like feedback or suggestions or anything, you can type in the channel, and then like we'll, we'll see. We'll probably make a couple adjustments for next week. Uh, but yeah, GG's everybody. GG. Right, GG's. Those fun. Peace. All right, let's just uh, overcap the event real quick. I think I have the overlays now. So if you guys are wondering, like, uh, who did you know the best out of this event? Who's getting, uh, you know, the the who's getting a, a good amount of that prize pool? You guys all contributed to. Let's go. Uh, let's go look at that for a second. All right. So if I'm reading that right, it looks like Madara won all five games. Unless someone donated points for him. Madara might have uh, won all five games with 25 points. Weary Day winning four out of five games in the lead, these two. Very good running for those two. Well deserved. So those guys will, you know, the prize pool will be split up according to how many points everyone has. So everyone will get a share of the prize. But those guys will get the most. Anyone but Madara, this is the worst day. I mean, it's uh, I blame Cattle. Cattle was not there to shut Madara down. Feels bad, man. Unlucky. But yeah, that's how the event went. Hope you all enjoyed it. We'll be doing this again next week, next Saturday. Same time as you heard. Maybe with some minor changes, but yeah, that'll be for next Saturday as well. Where's Chun? You can ask Cure about that. Cure and uh, I think Cure and Parky maybe and Pombai, they're the ones in charge of inviting the players. So you can ask them about that. Yep, GG's.